you know, some people will say the Bible ain't real. Some people say that, hey, this is nothing but a book. Man wrote the Bible. That's all man did. This is nothing but, you know, man wrote this book. So why are you going to believe something man wrote? Let me say something to you. Let me break it down to you. Now, if I'm a supervisor mm -hmm. and I hire a secretary, why well, I'm taking dictation for myself. Amen. I employed you. I hired you to do that. Amen. So God made man to do his bit. Yes. Right. So while I'm God, and I'm going to tell you, come on down, and I'm going to write the book myself. That's what you're here for. That's what I'm giving you breath for. Why should I come down here when I employ you, when I'm giving you life, and you're going to tell me to write? Nobody. Wow. It's just like me hiring a contractor to paint the walls. I'm going to paint the walls myself and pay them. No, that ain't going to happen. That sound crazy to you? Yeah. So my folks talk about man wrote the Bible. Well, you know what? Man made this building. Man made this pole. A man made this pulpit. That man was me. <laughs> man did a lot of stuff. Man grew up in the earth. Yes. So man did everything in the moon. But you gonna say a man wrote the Bible? Well, man did everything else. So why you ain't talking about that? Yeah. Amen. Amen. Come on, Pastor. Say we twin. Gosh, you came up. Yeah, he wrote the Ten Commandments. God wrote the Ten Commandments with his fingers. And guess what? Man broke them. Oh, broke them. So, you know what? You say, you know what? That'd be the last time I write anything up. Moses, you take that pick and you hit it down yourself. Because everything God put in us, man going to break. Man mess up. Wow. Wow. Oh, so why do I gotta do it myself with it, boy? But I know you will corrupt everything I give you. Wow. I gave you the book of the law, and you can't keep that straight. Now I gotta send Jesus down because y'all messed that up. Because wow. y'all can't keep that straight. And God had to come down himself to make it plain. This is what I meant. This is what I'm saying. He had to come in the flesh. Because we. Oh, come on. And folks talking about, what about the lost books of the Bible? God knows we can't obey the 66 in there. That's more than 10 commandments. Why you want more for? I'll fight to get the 66 books in. I don't need any more. Take me to hell. No, lead them out of there. I don't need no more. I'm fighting to obey these. Why about the lost books? Keep them lost. That's why they Jesus did. But you know what? If we really wrote what really Jesus did, it'll bust our head wide open with it. Uh uh. This is too far fetched. I can't be saved. Amen. Come on. Come on. Amen. God gave us enough for our intellect so we can handle it, so we can take it all in. Man can handle our stuff. Amen. We got one book, and we I tell people that's all we need to do what we gotta do. See, people don't understand. We got that one book. It's like the yellow pages. It's a one book. Anything in there. <laughs> you need a physician? It's in there. You need a nail gun? It's in there. You need your wig twisted? It's in there. You need your car fixed? It's in there. It's just like the Bible with everything in the book. It's in the one book. All you got to do is read a directory and find out where you need to go. Call up the Holy Spirit and let the Bible open up and say, God, I got a problem with my marriage. My baby acting crazy. I'm sick of my body. Just read the book and God will give you the right position. All you need is one book. And God will give you... So I'm going to tell you one thing. The Bible is a road map to heaven. If you follow the route, you'll make it there. Sure. If you stay on course, then if you obey this book, there's no way you're going to heaven. Guaranteed, you'll make it into heaven. As long as you're in very often this book, as long as you start reading other stuff, 
they'll mess that will mess you up. Make sure you get that strong foundation. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. So I tell people, when you start reading other stuff, you can eat the meat and throw the bones away. Because some of these books I read, they're more bones than meat. I gotta pick the bones and where the meat ain't up in here. Because you know what? Some of these books, they want a whole chapter and you can say it in one sentence in the Bible. Yes. 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 That's right. Right. Amen. Yes. Yes. And all it is of a philosophy yes. and garbage. Yes. Right. Yes. Stay in the Bible. Oh. Get you in the Word. That's why folks don't like a fool with me. You know why? I'm an avid Bible reader. Amen. Now I ain't saying nothing wrong with reading commentary. I read some brilliant books. But you know what? They hear a little and they a little. And you can write down what is good and what's not so good. You might out of ten books you read, one of them is excellent. Yeah. Amen. That's, That's true. true. That's right. So true. That's right. But I'm telling you right now, get into this one book, it'll give you everything you need. Amen. And so you know what? And the scripture came back, and I'm going to come back to it, and it says, 